Okay, we're back on this motor. 12 hours later. Now it's 3 o'clock in the sunny time. That's where I left off last night. A little after 3. So I need to clearance the case here for this crank pin because we got a 5 and a quarter stroke. It takes up quite a bit. So what you do is you just measure up how far you need for clearance. We need about 2 and a half inches of clearance right there to clear the round part of the crank pin here. So <clears throat> coming off your bearing area right here. You see two and a half inches is about where I got it cut to right now. So basically I just need to cut that out with a metal machine. <clears throat> this surface here is a little bit lower than over here. And that's about how much I'm cutting, about 30 thou is hitting right there. So I need to cut down about 30 and then just basically square this out over to here. So that's about what I need to do. The case is relatively thick through here. That's where it's cut through right here for the this undercut here, but it's, it should be alright. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and work on this a little bit. This thing's pretty thick too. So. Alright, so even though I'm not going to run it with the without a spacer in here, most likely, it's nice to have it clearance in case someone down the road does. As we get all the clearance and cut in there, whether you need it or not, for now, for you know initial mock-up, it'd be nice if I can turn the damn crank. But we have other issues too. Okay, so I'm going to mark this for two and a half inches. best I can. I can't get a straight shot here. Let's see if I go this direction I can. Let's see. One thing I can do Mark the case up, compare dividers, and describe it. And describe. So all you do is come over here and mark the case where it needs to be. So two and a half inches, I'll give it 50 tau extra, it'll be right there. Slide this around until we're where we want it to be. About there. All right, gives me a rough idea. So it gives you a rough idea where the line's at. I got a mark over here too, I didn't do that yet. It probably has to be cut on that side too. Yep. The other high spot in the case. Okay, case is marked. I'm gonna go over the metal machine and cut it. I'm back. Okay, we're over here in the mill. I'm gonna use my angle cutter here. So it leaves a nice angle through here, which makes the case a little stronger, but still gives us clearance. So the this here cuts a little further out, obviously because of the angle. So I have to go a little bit above my scribe line. So I'm gonna make mark the case here. Oh, the fat marker above my line. And that should give me a good reference to cut to. 
cut the marker off. So just make it about an eighth inch above the line or hundred hour or so. Probably about a hundred. Yeah, I don't know, maybe an eighth. We'll get a little extra. There we can see it. I'm not looking through the camera, so. Try to make this even. I'm just going to cut until I cut the block away, I think. Be a starting point. I can come back and cut more if I have to. There we go. All right. That'll be good. Instead of setting up a rotary table to do it accurately, I'm just going to do it by hand. Close enough. Touch down down here. This one goes that far, so I gotta go up some. Close. Okay. case down further makes it easier for me to work on it. First cut. Seems 
until we get for a finish through there. So we'll come back the other direction, give it just a slide more. So that should be enough. We'll cut it one more time. Get a little bit better finish. That was not climb milling, it was stick conventional. So it leaves a little bit worse finish. Climb milling is when you come back into the cutter. Okay, I'll try it one more time. Not sure how much you can really see what I'm doing here, but get over here you might be able to see a little better. smoother finish. <sighs> it's definitely not as clean as if you had a did it with a yeah, full circle like you should, but quick and dirty it works. Okay, let's clean this up and go see if it fits. fit. The big unknown. Just barely touching them somewhere.
So where's it hitting at? I don't know. Don't see a mark. Sitting someplace. Mark it up. Belt tip is your friend at this deal. Okay. Ah. Okay, we gotta find some bolts to put this together with also. Let's see what we got here in hardware laying around. Here. Hmm. Appear to want to go in that hole. Nope. He's not happy. High spot I had to get over. It's over. Hmm, get a thread coming out of the thing. Trying to get you. Let me just pull on the thread off the nut. We'll be back. <laughs> 